I've just landed on the top floor of the Rijksmuseum in the galleries of the 20th century to meet curator Ludo because he knows everything about a very special self-portrait of Charlie Torbel. Hey Ludo. Hi, Katalijn. Ludo, who are we looking at? We're looking at a self-portrait of Charlie Torrop. Uh, she was a quite well-known painter in her own time. She was from a family of painters. Her father, Jan Torrop, was kind of a celebrity painter. Famous name as well. Very famous name. But also her son, Edgar, Edgar Fernhout, was a very well-respected painter. And was never shown in any retrospective ex exhibition by the work of Torrop at all. This painting was recently acquired by the Rijksmuseum, but why is this so special? Well, the special thing about the self-portraits by Charlie Torrop is that you can follow her own her whole life by only looking at the self-portraits. She started making them when she was a young woman, and she made the last one in the year that she died, in 1955. And every two or three years she made a self-portrait. So you really can see her grow old in the paintings, from a young woman to a middle-aged woman to an old woman. You can see her haircut change, you can see her grow grey. That makes it kind of a life story. Influencer avant la lettre. Well, yeah, you could say that. Well, by selfies. It's still in its original frame, which is very special and makes it also very special. And we even discovered a, a paint spot from the studio at the bottom of the frame. And we see a little light in the background. Is this her own house? It was probably painted in her own house in Bergen in North Holland. But the light comes from the front. If you look at her face, you yeah. see the heavy drop shadows under her nose and lips and jawbone. So it, there's lighting from the front, but the lamp is in the background. Ah. And it probably is a mirror or a dark window, which makes it also quite special because it's very rare that you paint electric light. This particular way of working with light is also very rare. And well, it's called self-portrait with flowers, but you also could call it a self-portrait by electric light. But she looks quite fierce. Could we say this self-portrait is kind of a statement as well? Well, I think you could, you could say that because, well, the haircut she has is very typical for her, but it's also called the bob line, uh, which was a modern haircut, very popular in the 1920s. And it was a really kind of a sign of presenting yourself as a modern and independent woman. Could we say she's the queen of the self-portraits? Well, you could say that because well, every self-portrait by Charlie Torop has a tremendous wall power and you can immediately recognize her by the slightly exaggerated eyes and her typical nose and also the dark, heavy eyebrows. And it's a way of painting that really differs, for example, from the way her son Edgar paints himself. He paints himself very smoothly and very straight looking at you, but also with this intense, bright, wide open eyes. And that feature he learned from his mother. Who is now here? She's here. A very special and recognizable self-portrait, but how would you paint yourself?